Welcome, my peeps. We all know today is Jam Down Sunday. All right, Chef Champion Kitchen. Today we have gongo rice and peas, oxtail, and we're going to have some nice, crispy, juicy, country style fried chicken. Don't it? All right. So don't forget to stay. Stay on this. Don't move. Don't even think about exiting this page. All right. Remember, like, share, and subscribe every time. Up top. We up. That's only one way to go. All right. Stay up. Please. And remember, we stay safe. Clocking. It's COVID, right? So make sure we stay safe. So stay in. Don't go out. Stay in. Stay tuned. Chef Champion Kitchen. On Jam Long Sunday, we have a chef interview in the house. Whether they pass spot or make a call up. So right now today, we will call up Shamar Thomas. Let's see if he can get the scar. Alright? Surprise scar. Hey, what's up, man? I thought I wanted to get you. I was, I was telling the, the peeps on YouTube that I'm going to give a surprise call, man. <laughs> well, you'll always get me, man. I'm always busy at work, man. But there, there, there you are, man. Yeah? Chef Thomas, Chef Shamar. Chef Shamar is here in the house. He's not um, here on, uh, on spot, guys. But as you can see, we make a call up, right? So Shamar, what's going on? Well, you know, we're busy at seeing taking care of the operation, you know? Up top, way up. No, so he's, he's, he's like a work alley in You love the work. Yes, of course, man. We have to do what we have to do, you know? You understand? So tell me, Chef Shamar, quickly. Quickly, quickly. How did you start in the culinary business? Well, to be honest, my story is a long one, bro. Make it quick and short and spicy, man. Yes, yeah. You're a Jamaican, right? Make everything what? I, I want to say to you, I actually, I actually was just jerking chicken on the roadside, you know? And everybody was telling me how good my jerk chicken was. And you know, my wife, I must give her thanks. I must say thanks to her because she's the one who actually discovered me, you know? Yes. So she told me to try the ship business, and when I came to the ship, I was partially brand new. I didn't know nothing about the ship life. <laughs> well, you love it, right? Well, to be honest, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't here a long time ago. <laughs> and which company is that? Which company you work for, man? Well, I'm working for one of the best companies, man, Royal Caribbean International. Up top, up top, way up, way up, way up. So tell me quickly, 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 what's your favorite dish? Well, to be honest, as an international chef, I don't have a favorite dish. I enjoy preparing any dish from any cuisine. Up top, way up, you master everything. Doctor, everything. in this business, you have to master everything. Everything you put up, put your hand pan, just go so. Mwah, 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 mwah. Nice, don't it? As grandma would say, you have to put your foot in it. <laughs> mine, mine, we are saying that. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know, say, you know, busy there, you know, busy there, right? And you're busy. It's a quick peek. I have a girl to interview you. You know, so COVID, and you want to reach out to some of your, some, some of your Belgium. So if you want to see your Belgium, some shout out quickly, shout out to my man them. Well, first of all, I want to pick up the, the person who made all of this possible. Which is you, Chef Champion, one of the best I've worked with. I want to shout out my wife, Christine. <laughs> and I want to shout out a couple of chefs, you know, some people who really motivate me. One of the first person I want to I actually mention is Chef Delroy Joel. What? The reason for that is because this guy gave me so much hard time on shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I told myself, I told myself one day I want to reach his position so I can get away from this guy completely. <laughs> <laughs> so you work hard, huh? Yeah. You put some sweat I into it. To like Chef Courtney Harris. I want to say shout out to Chef Courtney Harris. I want to say a shout out to Richard Ives. Shout out to Mike all the way from Ireland. Chef Lorenzo. Yeah, I've never worked with Chef Kevin, but I see him as an inspiration. He's a very good chef, Kevin. 
Yeah. Yeah. Up top. I've never worked with Chef Sammy, but I hope to work with him one day also. A very good chef. Up top. Yeah. Jesse, right. I want to say a big, big shout out to Chef Frank Lehmann all the way from Germany. See it there? Yeah. Well, all right. I know so you want to shout. I know so you want to shout out the whole I'm on them. So we can't shout out everybody because you know say time the power, don't it? So right across the board, you big up, you big up everybody. So quickly, 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 quickly. Yeah, of course, man. And I, I don't want to forget. I want to shout for my next day, Shamar. Oh. All the way on the Cocomi Island. Aye. That's Shamar Silvera. So I want to pick him up. I want to pick up man like Jason, who was on the program a couple of weeks ago. I want to pick up Jason also. There's so much people I want to pick up. I don't want to forget anyone. Guys, if I forget the name, just excuse me for that. But there's a lot of people I want to shout out, but we cannot do it because we have a short space of time. All right. So people, you don't know uh, Chef Shamar. See, Shamar Thomas up there, you just give him a quick interview, quick call up, and you know that busy man, work upon him, you see, so we know how things say, we said, no exit at channel there, jam down Sunday, like, share, and subscribe, don't it, don't even think about exit, see, we have gongo rice to go on today, some oxtail, and we have some country fried chicken, you understand? <laughs> you, need, you need to save some of that for me, man. Alright, boom! When you come to Jamaica, you don't know anything set, right? And Jam Dum Kitchen is one of the best. I've been looking at all the dishes, man, and they're really five and six star dishes, bro. They're doing an excellent job, man. All right, all right, see there? That's Shabar. See? Can't make it in person. Big, fast call up. We get him online, quick interview, in big everybody. All right, Shamar, thank you, thank you for being here on the phone. Thank you for the interview. Up top, we have big up yourself. All right. And pick up the kitchen, my friend. All right. Have a wonderful day, man. Same to you, man. And stay safe, right? I will, I will. All right. Now we know the ship is the safest place in the world, don't it? Man, we're, we're, we're following all the protocols, my friend. All right. Straight up. See that? So here we go, straight down cooking. I'm going to marinate the oxtail, marinate the chicken, and get out of the cooking. Jam down Sunday. Peeps, don't move a muscle. What I'm doing, I'm making my marination for my chicken, and also marination for my oxtail. Because you know, as we said, jam down Sunday, with the pan island, we use some fresh things, right? Onion, garlic, ginger, all this stuff. Skellion, you understand? You know, professional word skellion, green onion, we know that, right? So I'm going to put in the combination. What is it? What's inside? No, that's my secret ingredient. Call me up for the recipe. And of course, what we're going to do is, on the oxtail, we're going to put a little soy sauce to that on the oxtail. So we make the one marination, because we want to get the herbs out of the chicken, we want to get the herbs, nice herbs in the oxtail. So what we do, we're going to add some, some soy sauce on the oxtail marination. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, rock steel, nice and sexy. So we call it. So we say, as we said, we put a little, a, add a little soy sauce to the marination for yolk steel. And as, as you can see, our fried chicken on this side have a different color. So you can see here, and you can see here because we add a little soy sauce to this marination. Okay, and also we put a little powder seasoning to enhance the flavor. Stay tuned. All right, no, no. Check with gungo. Check with gungo ready. It's ready. We just season our pot. Mm. Nice and tender. Gungo for the gungo rice and peas. As I said before, I keep on reminding. I keep on reminding um, everybody. When you're on the islands, whenever you get the chance, you can get your nice fresh coconut. Get it chopped, get it cut up small, put in your blender and blend to make your fresh coconut milk or we say coconut juice. Do that, okay? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong to use the powder, but once in an island, we can get some nice fresh coconut for jam dunk, for your jam dunk Sunday. But you know it's jam dunk Sunday. But you don't have Jamaica, you cook on Sunday and jam dunk Sunday, don't you? So, please, remember, do that, okay? So we're gonna quickly season up this pot, put the rice in, and move on, all right? Yeah, the peeps. All right. Let's cut in, making some prep, some vegetables for the oxtail. Of course, we have the oven um, getting preheated. Never put anything over in a cold oven. Okay. Always ensure that your oven is preheated. Preheated mean make sure that the oven is already hot. Okay. So the temperature you that you want to preheat it for, or for. So always bear in mind. You put stuff into a cold oven, then it doesn't cook. Correctly, all right. Again, guys, um, I say in all my videos, it makes everything very easy when you buy your veggies at the, at the market. Sanitize them before you put in your fridge or your cupboards. So when you're cooking, make life much easier for you. Okay, let's jump over and check out our oven. See if our oven is ready, and see what's what's, what's going on. Of course, on this side. Yeah, here we go. We already seasoned our pot up. We have the gungu inside, some fresh herbs, some scallions, some onions, some, some thyme, scotch bonnet pepper. We don't burst the scotch bonnet pepper, we don't want it hot. We just want the flavor from the scotch bonnet pepper in your, your, your rice and beans or your gungu rice. So don't cut it up and put it inside because it gets too spicy. Right? You just want the flavor from it, you don't want it burst. Okay? Of course, we always remember, right? Fresh coconut milk. All right? We have our chicken, as you can see early on, well marinated. We have our flour ready. We're getting our fryer preheated also. And of course, we have our oxtail on the tray ready. And here we go. As our oven is already preheated. Yeah. I'm gonna start that inside. Okay, temperature we wanna cook it at. Because I did, as we preheat the oven to 370, uh, I set my oven now to burn off the oxtail. Reason why I'm putting the oxtail in the oven, because a lot of people traditionally just season your oxtail or marinate the oxtail and put it in a pot, right? We put the oxtail in the oven to burn off excess fat from the oxtail. To ensure when we're braising on our oxtail, or what we say in the Jamaica, when it's chewing on our oxtail, to make sure we don't get all that oil on top. All right? Of course, you know, if you prefer, you can use a peeler to peel your carrot and your, your potato. If you want to use a knife, you can use a knife. I prefer to use a knife. But of course, if you're doing large portions, if you're doing a large amount, you're going to need a peeler so you can peel much faster to be more efficient, right? Our onions, potato, carrots, or peppers, or garlic, or scallion. Have it ready for the oxtail. So from the oven, we're going to go back to the pot to braise our oxtail. Of 
of course. I'm burning off the excess fat. And also, the oven, it gives a nice caramelization to the oxtail and give a nice flavor also to your dish. Okay, so as I said, our vegetables are oxtail, oxtail, raise it, um, burn off, you can have an extra fat. Our beans, you can use broad beans, you can use fresh broad beans if you like, and, and make it. Today I'm just using some butter beans, okay? So I'm quickly gonna give my rice a quick wash while I'm frying it hot and put it in the pot. Yeah, coming on good. Of course, guys, you can always, you can always, for more details and more info, if you like, if you like a recipe, or you like to do something for you, you can always go to Instagram. DM me on Instagram, chef underscore champion, and you get more info, right? Way up. And you know it goes in the channel kitchen, right? Mwah! Yummy, 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 Mwah! Every time. So what we're basically doing now, uh, I'm starting off some of the vegetables with a little bit of oil to make the base of the sauce for the braised oxtail. You can see, oxtail bur burning off nicely. All the fat is gone. So I start my procedure here with my garlic, my onion, my thyme, some carrots. Sort of a middle one. Stop all this so we can, we can make our base for our, our stew. I want to call it great. Of course, over here, you can see. Our rice and bunga rice and beef is coming on fine. Our fried chicken over here. Going good. So looking good, good today. Over here, you can see. I still leave some remaining of the, the vegetables to put in the oxtail. I'll put this vegetable in the oxtail approximately five minutes before my finished um, dish. Or should I say, my finished product, um, the oxtail. So five minutes before we finish um, stewing it or braising it, I put in this one to in the oxtail. Okay, to give us some color, some presentation, and also give us some better texture. All right, so we'll put it on, and don't forget, Last minute, I put in my, my beans, okay?
as you can see, a lot of oil. A whole small pot of oil that we have cut off the oxtail. That's always good to burn it off because if we didn't get this off, if we didn't burn it off, then what will happen? This will be in the, into your sauce and get your sauce all greasy and oily. We don't want that, right? For nice gravy. Nice, solid meat. See, we already start making the base of the sauce, so. We're just gonna cover that, let it be, so it's simmer down, you know. Go all the way down before we put in our final veg and final cut of season. Good to go. No, say, I have some spinach in my don't it? Jam down the kitchen. So big up same time, big up, big up all our chef them, big up chef Courtney, <coughs> chef Delroy, Silvera, Shamar Thomas, chef Peter, chef Jason, big up chef Kamal, every time, you don't know your settings, don't it brother, big up O'Neill Walker, all the way to Finland, you see, go on do your thing, mmm, -hmm. You understand? I would say stop and pause. I would say big up Chef Simanski. Chef Gary Thomas. I would say big up Chef Johnson, don't it? I remember. Remember, every Sunday we have jam down Sunday. You know the settings. During the course of the week, we still have Chef Champion Kitchen going on. Big up Chef John, all the way to England, up top. I was a pause and turn around and address the pips. Big up Chef Stephen Yates. You see it. I'm big up all my YouTube fans, my peeps. We're lucky. You don't know. Big up Set Speed. Big up all my Facebook fans and Set Speed. See it here. Nice and fluffy. Gungo rice and peas. Yummy. Mm -hmm. Only even better than this. And remember, this, you too, the world, I tell you, this is not parboiled rice. You check it. It's a long grain rice, white rice, rice and bungo rice. You see it? I'm gonna make a rice and peas. I'm gonna buy the parboiled peas. You see it nice and fluffy? I guess the skills there. You see it? Understand? We up, we are gone. Straight up. <laughs> the peeps, I that enough. After the finishing stage, just put in my last the vegetable. Simmer down a little bit. I know the settings about that, don't it? I'm out. Teeth and tongue, don't it? Eat in time. Sit there.
All good, you alright? I'm just checking because everybody's silent today, everybody watching the chef sharing the food, you know? Everybody's hungry today. Can't wait to eat. Oh, we all know Chef Champion Kitchen, right? Jam down Sunday, don't it? Yeah, so do it. As you all can see, Chef Champion and family today. You understand? I would say with food like this, all you need is mouth and tongue and teeth, don't it? We up. Rice and peas looks good. Tell you, this is good. This is good. Tell you, on top of the ox tail, the ox tail money. Oh. Sing tono.
done with the chappings, see that? Chef Champion Kitchen, Jab Down Sunday, you understand what you can see? A Chef Champion the family, right? We are. So we say, only thing better than this is heaven. So remember, guys, what they should remember? Like, to like, share, and subscribe. Every time, don't exit. Remember, every day, you too, Chef Champion, nothing else. You like the chicken? Mm -hmm. Enjoying it? It's good? Beautiful. Yeah. I love the baby the carrot thing. and mm. the asparagus. Not salty at all. And the gundu is different today. Oh yeah. Gundu rice and pieces. Thank Very you, Chef. Nice. Okay, okay. Love it. Love okay. it. Okay. You want the corn? I'm going to have the corn, that's fine. Check the rice taste with my eating. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, could you? How are you doing? I hope you're not videoing us, you know. I think you get too much food over there for you, right? No, no. I'm it's for the bite, right? Mm -hmm. Very tender. Not, yeah, not too soft either. Mm -hmm. There's a bite to it. Very nice. Mm.